Hello, class. <laughs> Whoever else is out there. Uh, so this is our IXL um, completion card. If I don't have a fancy name for it yet. So what I have in mind here is you filling out the IXL lessons as I assign them. <clears throat> and once you're done, you check them off. Or if you want to, um, you and your family want to have a, uh, an agreement or a contract where if you do five, you get to play uh, Miles Morales. Oh, that's something I would do. But anyway, so right now, for example, we're doing um, O. Okay, we've done O1, uh, O4, O5, Seven and eight. Seven and eight. For sure. Now, O, these are all, O is a, um, O equals fraction equivalence and ordering. And that's not like you order fractions like, I'll have one half of a pizza. Um, although that would be kind of cool. Uh, ordering means putting them in order. So you have the smallest fraction first, middle fraction, largest fraction. Um, and then equivalence is, well, we'll get into that. So O1, fractions review. So this was a code YPL, and that was uh, just fractions review. You can abbreviate also. Okay. And uh, so if, if you spend, I don't know, 15 minutes on it, okay, 15 minutes is great. Um, how about this one? The next one is uh, O4 was u x six and that is uh identify identify mixed numbers next up is o5 which was uh, uh hyc and that is uh equivalent fractions area model equiv and I'm a big fan of abbreviation, even though I have all this space. Equivalent fractions um, using area models. Because I like to save, I'd rather abbreviate and save space for what's really important. And area models for 05 is what's most important. So down to 07, that was uh, G, uh, sorry, yeah, GSG, GSG. And that one is uh, identify equivalent fractions. So identify equivalent fractions. And these all build on each other. Uh, you'll notice I skipped 0, 02 and 03. Those are word problems. 0, 06 was a, a number line. We are gonna we are gonna come back and fill this up. Um, but for now, this is this is what we're doing. Um, What's the next code for eight? Eight is seven C Y. And that is uh, equivalent fractions. And it's, um, so I'm just going to put EQ, right? Equivalent fractions. And I'm going to put uh, missing numerator or denominator. Missing numerator. Ooh, I wonder if this will fit. Probably not. Or denominator. If you can fit denominator, go for it. So those are the five. Uh, those are the five main fractions um, content area so far. Those of you who have finished this, if this is all done, all done, all done, um, please let me know. And I can provide uh, more challenging fractions because the thing about fractions, uh, like these cards we have, there are so many things we can play, um, so many ways to use fractions. Like a, si a simple um, activity for this, relatively simple, would be uh, two thirds is equivalent to what, right? So then you do two thirds equals four double six, triple six ninths, um, quadruple eight um, twelfths. Right? Or it could be more difficult. I could do two thirds. I could I could tell someone multiply that. What's two thirds times four? Right? 
that's because two tenths were eight, eight thirds, and that's uh, two and two thirds. And, or I could say, what's two thirds of, uh, I don't know, wow, uh, something interesting, 36. Right? So this right here, that's sixth grade. Uh, this one, two, this is probably fifth grade. So those of you for whom, like if this, if this is where you're at, if that's what you want to focus on, great. I, I will get you ready for fifth grade. No. Uh, if you're, if this makes sense to you and you want to challenge, I'm up for that too. So just, you got to let me know. All right. So this is what to do with your um, IXL um, checklist. Um, cool. Oh, and then if you want to do the week, um, I added a column like, you know, if you finish this week 22, that's great. Oh, and this you didn't get to until week 23, that's also fine. Um, cool. Hope that helps. Um, hope you stay, stay organized with your uh, IXL lessons. Aloha for now.